Hey everyone, and welcome to CookingCompanionTV.com. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a demo of how to make a soup broth from leftover artichoke leaves. So, you've done the dirty gritty work to remove all the woody and dry parts from your artichoke globe. The outer leaves are stiff at the tip, but they're meaty at the bottom, and those won't go to waste here. So clean all your leaves in a water bath, just like you were doing any sort of other green or lettuce, and add them to a soup pot. Pour in enough water that they're covered by about an inch, which will be difficult to gauge because the leaves float, but do the best you can. Throw in some aromatics like garlic, rosemary, bay leaves. What you see here are from an artichoke confit I just made. And you're gonna let all this boil for 20 to 30 minutes until the meat on the leaves is soft and edible. And you should be able to easily scrape it off with the bottom of your teeth. And by the meat, I mean it's like kind of some white stuff that's like where the leaf attached to the artichoke globe. And you can boil this down even further to concentrate the flavor. I ended up with about four to five cups of broth. And from here, you can do what you like. You can and should eat the leaves with the meat still on it, or at least just the meat on the leaves. We've extracted a lot of flavor from the leftover clippings, but the meat is still super yummy. Now, as for the broth, it's a good base, but it needs to be doctored up. I found that adding a potato to some of the broth made a hearty soup. So here's what I did. I sliced up one peeled tomato, which is enough for two meal-sized servings of the soup. I covered it by an inch with the broth in a small pot, I then boiled the potato over medium high heat until it was soft enough to mash or even blend up. So, you know, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how thin you slice the potato. Now the potato releases its starch, which thickens up the broth. And then I mashed up most of the potato and, and left a few chunks in it for some texture. At this point, it's pretty bland. If you wanted to stop here, I would, I would add in some aromatics like bay leaves and more garlic and rosemary and salt and pepper, maybe some lemon juice. but. I just made artichoke confit, so I have these beautiful soft globes and lots of flavorful oil. So I serve up some soup and then place half a confit artichoke with a couple healthy tablespoons of the confit oil. And now it's a gorgeous artichoke soup thickened with potato. I am so pleased with the discovery of boiling the leaves to make a broth, and I hope you are too. Enjoy those artichokes, my friends. Get the ingredient suggestions in the description below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash artichoke leaf soup. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Check out the artichoke comfy if you haven't yet. And subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.